Are we on? Oh, okay. All right, hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another egg cutting. Uh, this one is going to be used towards a future projects, pro, pro, project, so stay tuned. Okay, so the pairing was a banana enchi het pied, which is this girl right here. And then it was bred to a clown het pied, um, but the, the male is currently being bred right now to something else, so can't show him. Um, we're hoping for, it's gonna be het to het on the pied. Everything's gonna be minimum 100% het clown so, and 66% het pied, but we're hoping for some pieds so we can add that to our future project and make some obviously banana enchi clown pipes. So we did originally have six eggs. One, one went bad in the incubator like after what three weeks or something like that. And we did have one start to pip today. And the one that pipped looked like it was either a banana or a banana enchi. So we'll Definitely ahead. banana. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Every time she talks, she's, and then she's like, I hate when I talk. Yeah, that's going to be a banana enchi right there. And, um, or is it? No, that's just a banana. Yeah, it looks like a long snake, though. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. But, um, yeah, hopefully it's a girl, because the mom was a female. And it's going to be at minimum 100% heck clown, so... Come on, we got we got four eggs left, and we want a visual pied, preferably a male with banana enchi, and it would be perfect. And there we have another banana. Just looks like a banana. I don't see enchi in there. So now we're down to three. I'll even take. An enchi pied. Just any kind of pied. Something to add to the project. Oh man, there's another. Just a banana again. No, that might be an enchi banana. Hard to see in there. Yeah, I'm just looking at the head. I know you guys can't probably see it, the angle of the camera. That looks like it's going to be an enchi banana. I'll be cut one. You want to cut one? Yeah. You're going to be on film? Okay. Okay. You don't care. Get them on there. Get them <laughs> you can cut the last two if you want. Maybe give, a, give us the... Uh, Some good luck. Yeah, the good luck. Yeah. That's another banana. No pride. Mm. Getting a lot of bananas. Mm-hmm. Looks like it might be enchi. Yeah, that one could be enchi too. I mean, hopefully at least those will be girls. I mean, banana enchi, 100% head clown female, 66% head pie, but... <laughs> you gonna get that shell off your finger or what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, John, let's do this. Oh, is that a pied? Mm, looks like it. Pied. Ah, pied. thank God. <laughs> is it just a pied? Or is it, it a banana, banana pied? Or an inch uh, pied? I can't see it. I don't, it's a banana. It's definitely oh, it is a banana? banana. Mm -hmm. Maybe we got the banana inch. It looks like it's high white. Yeah, then it's probably just a banana pied. It's hard to see though. Well, at least we proved the girl out. Yeah. So, I mean, that's cool. So we got one. I mean, I guess that's her odds because head to head on the- Would like to cut them a little bit more? Yeah, I'll open it up a little more. So yeah, I mean, um, on a head-to-head, -head, you know, technically... Oh, there's a blood on me. <laughs> <laughs> on, on a head-to-head, -head, technically, you should get only 25% would be, you know, a, a visual. So that's kind of what we did here. Yeah. Well, at least we got one keeper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks high white. Yeah, it's a high white, it's just a banana. I don't think there's enchi. You can't tell that it's got enchi in it. No, really? Look at the side over there. Nope. I think it's just banana pie. Yeah. Enchi would be a lot more pattern. 
All right, well, I mean, that's that's pretty good. I can't complain. Six eggs, um, you know, we got one, so the odds were like right there. And all the others are bananas. And um, I think I'll have to check, but I think uh, when the female is a banana, I think it's like 50-50 on the, the male-female ratio. Um, probably should have double-checked that before I did this video, but uh, we'll see. Everything's 100% head clown. This boy here, girl, whatever, I don't know why I called it a boy, but um, yeah, he's he, it's a pied and 100% head clown, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, in a few minutes, you guys are going to see what these look like after they had their first shed, and obviously we'll have to wait about a week or so, so uh, keep on watching. All right. Okay, so everybody has shed. Um, I'm actually going to try to offer them their first meal today. So we're going to start off with... Um, this one here. Okay, this is a male. Now, because it was from a female maker, or from a female banana, all the males in this clutch that are banana are going to be female makers. Too bright? Well, that's better women. I can dim it down. No, you don't have to good. whisper. That's good. That's no, good? No, turn it up. Turn it up again? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so so it's a male banana. It's 100% het clown, 66% het pied. And I'm only going to say that once in a video because I'll end up, you know, saying it a million times. But anyways. Um, and like I said, it's a male, so it's a female maker. This is the only one in the clutch that is not spoken for yet at, at the moment. So, so we got that boy right there. We got oh. two banana enchies. Um, this is a boy. This is a girl. Um, I'm actually going to... I think this one's not going to have any problems eating for the first meal today, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to keep both of these back. Um, but yeah, very cool looking. I'm not going to say that they're 100% clown and 50% or 66% hit by, but well, you I guess just I just did. did. Okay, that's that's the boy. That's the girl. Okay, and we did get one visual pie. Right here, and this thing here for, I mean, I've hatched out banana pies before, but just like the oranges on this for some reason seem to be uh, much brighter, and I'm sure it probably has something to do with the, uh, with the heck clown. What is that on my hand there? Oh, you know what that is? That's glue. I was gluing something this morning, super glue sticks to your fingers. So, um, yeah, she's a, uh, what are we going? She's a very cool looking animal. Very high white. Um, we're actually trying to get the Enchi. I mean, the perfect world, we've got a, a banana Enchi pied male, but um, you know, we're happy with this clutch here. And then as you can see in the uh, thumbnail, is we ended up, and I'm not sure what we're going to do with this girl yet. But she is a banana enchi, and you know, 100% head clown, 66% head pied, but uh, she has no eyes. It's the first time we've ever done that, or uh, hatched them, and I did talk to some friends that hatched them before, and it's kind of like... We're not sure what's going to happen. Yeah, we're, we're, <clears throat> we're just not sure what we're going to do with her yet. Uh, first, we want to make sure she eats and everything. Also, I don't know, can you zoom in? You see the little, uh, what do they call that, the cleft palate? Yeah. She has a little cleft palate there. It's not... Um... She does open her mouth up, because I did see her yawn really big, and there's my phone ringing. That's, uh... I'll get that in a minute. But, um... You can't really catch it too much, it's hard to... Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I have a picture where I can get a zoomed in close look. Now, she does move around a lot. like, And, I, and when they were inside the... Um, what I do is when they come out of the egg, I, I put them in another egg box with a wet paper towel and leave them in the incubator till they shed. And normally, the whole clutch stays in a ball. And any of you guys that are breeding, you know what I'm talking about. This one for some reason, always stayed by itself. I don't know, maybe because of the no eyes or something and it was freaked out by touching the other snakes that were in there, but um, 
We'll keep you posted. I'm putting, you know, any pictures or, you know, new posts or anything that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Any updates. updates. There you go. Any, any updates on this animal, I'm going to be putting on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow the Instagram, you know, check me out on there. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully she does good and everything and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with her. I don't know, maybe we'll keep her and take her to shows or something or find a good home for her. I don't know. I mean, she looks really good. We're going to... Just the eyes. Do what we think is best for her. Yeah. She will so. be taken care of. Yeah, she'll be taken care of. I mean, obviously... I'm gonna offer her food today, and if she if she takes, I'll I'll post that on Instagram, and um, if she doesn't, I'll offer her again in another five days, and then if I have to do the assist feed, I usually any animals that have problems, you know, starting off, I'll assist feed like two or three times, you know, and we'll see what happens with this one here. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and oh yeah, come over here. Let me show you. I caught this girl earlier. She's probably not done yet. Let me to open it slow, but this is another clutch that she's actually like seven or eight days late past her due date. Mm -hmm. She's, okay. uh, she might be done. I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna mess with her at least for another three hours just to make sure. But um, anyway, um, Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like bell, please. Um, leave a comment if there's anything else you guys want to see or something. Um, I do have another two more clutches that we've already cut that we're waiting to shed out in the incubator. So there's two more egg cutting videos coming up, and then you know we got a couple other clutches that are still brewing. So um, again, thanks again for watching, and you guys have a good one.